everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring. Today we're here at Six Flags Magic Mountain for something that we haven't done, either of us, Fright Fest, which is their haunted event with ghouls and zombies and haunted mazes and such. It's going to be fun. They're having us out here for their media night, so they are providing us with the maze wristbands because it is an additional charge. You can actually experience Fright Fest if you are a pass holder or you have a normal ticket to the Six Flags Park, but you actually need a maze wristband to get into the mazes. Are, are you excited? I'm so are, excited. Are you excited for the mazes? So excited. We were just at Horror Nights two nights ago, so this is going to be cool because it's like a whole different atmosphere, you know? Horror Nights are more about movies and stuff, and here they're more about just scaring the living hell out of you. So it should be fun. Let's go have some fun at Fright Fest 2019. So here's a Fright Fest guide, the Fright Guide, presented by Snickers. Open that bad boy up, Savannah. So we got the experiences on there, the shows, some daytime stuff, which is mainly for the kids, trick-or-treating and such, and crafts. Then open it up to the big map, and it shows us where all the scare zones are, what all the mazes are. So we have Vault 666 Unlocked, which I think that maze has been here before, but it wasn't here last year. And then they brought it back just for like a retheme. Condemned, Sewer of Souls, Aftermath, Red's Revenge, and Will Lo Willoughby is re Resurrected. I don't know how to say that. I'm most excited for Sewer of Souls, though. Sewer of Souls. That one seems fun. Also... I think Apocalypse is open because they have like the little back area open. They're currently doing construction for West Coast Racers, but I think they have the back area open for Aftermath. And they got all the scare zones here. Witch's Lair, Demon's Door, Nightmares, The Twisted Fantasy, Exile Hall, City Under Siege, Hill. and Hill Hall. <laughs> I said Hall. And uh, ter Territory Twisted, which is a steampunk area. And it also gives us a little guide there. Reward experiences are for general, parental guidance, and the not intended for children under 13. Those are going to be my favorite experiences right there. Model, model that Fright Fest guide. Model that Fright Fest guide. Oh yes, now flip it, flip it. There we go. We're excited. So we are here a little bit early because we are season pass holders to Six Flags, but we're going to walk to the back because, like I said, I think Apocalypse is open and I'm going to check out the decorations during the daytime should be fun let's go ahead over there looks like this area is open they do have the rest of west coast racers walled off the last time we were back here was during our construction tour and if you guys want to check that out for our west coast racers construction tour then that's on the channel so go check that out but look the track is all done they actually just finished it a couple of days ago all the track now all they're waiting to do is the station and everything to connect the track fully. Oh yes, Apocalypse is open, so we're going to take a spin on it. And then we'll be back here later because Aftermath is right over here. It's one of the mazes to open during Fright Fest. So right now we're going to go check in and get our wristbands and everything so we can have some fun at Fright Fest. Because it opens in about two hours, so we're going to go check in like I said. We've got our badges. We're here in the Full Throttle Sports Bar. Are you ready? So the monsters come out in about an hour or so. I'm excited. Right now we're heading to what is called Unleashed, or what they what Six Flags calls Unleashed, which is essentially the opening ceremony of Fright Fest. So we're over here where they're having a 30-hour coffin okay. challenge, which is a bunch that, of these people who lay in coffins. Here. For 30 because hours. It's a long, because long I'm time. Sure they're living and my friends are not. This is their coffin area. So I forget what they win, but they've been in there since 3 p.m. yesterday and they come out and at 9, 9 p.m. today. Yeah, oh, it looks like somebody didn't make soon. it. So again, everybody, Fright Fest is about to kick off. That's Fright just uh, a prop, by the way. <laughs> like, I get to scare but for the most part, everyone's still in there. So over here is where Territory Twisted's at. And over in the D.C. area is where City Under Siege is at. And that is where they're having their opening ceremonies. We're about like 15 minutes away where we'll see all the monsters come out.
think we're gonna hit Sewer of Souls for our first maze. It's a very different scene here though because like I said earlier, you see or you are allowed in to Six Flags if you or into Fright Fest if you just buy a normal Six Flags general ticket. So you see like families and such here and everything. But let's go explore the different scare zones and hit up Sewer of Souls. Coming in to Witch's Lair. They got a whole little setup here. This is in the Metropolis area. Kind of like a gauntlet, in a way. Got a stilt walker right here. A witch stilt walker. We're in this little gauntlet area. I kind of like the decorations. Oh, hello. You got all up in my face right there. We're going up the very steep hill. I think there's a scare zone up here. There's a, there's a couple mazes up here too, right? Yeah, there's like three mazes. Okay, we're going to do three mazes up here. there. Also, that sign is very bright. We're almost to the entrance of Sewer of Souls. It looks like they're handing out 3D glasses to make the vibrant walls pop. They make me all distorted while we're getting a 3D section. I'm, I'm very scared. Warning, that's interesting. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting hit in the leg. I'm getting hit in the leg. We're back into the vibrant area. Oh, hello. We're about to enter Willoughby's mansion. Or Willoughby's resurrected. We aren't too sure which one it is though. Because on the map it says two different things. But it is indeed a mansion. We're about to head in. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one's really dark. Oh, that's a cool, that's a pretty cool effect. in this mirror. Oh, we're going down the room of doors. Oh, here's a bright room. Whoa, she's following it. We just did Willow Bay's mansion. It was good, it was just very dark. I think that if they added more lighting to all their sets, that 
the whole maze would come out very good in general. We are back in this area to go into Aftermath, Chaos Arising, over to our left, over to the left of Apocalypse. It looks like it's a popular maze. This crowd is very confusing. I don't know how this is working, but they're opening the gates. So, confused. So they brought us to the actual line, and it looks from on the outside that there's huge sets in here in this post-apocalyptic world. This should be interesting, but a fun maze. Looks like we're going the evacu evacuation route. Hopefully they stay true. Oh my goodness! Oh! Sounds like my alarm clock. That smell of fog. Oh, fire. Wow, look at that set. Looks like everything is going to hell right now. Oh, there's a dead body there. That's no fun. Oh, more fire. Whoa. That's insane. Oh, he's telling us to evacuate. We're going to booking. Oh, we're in the police station. Get out quick! Go find the dog! Oh. The dog can still save you! We have to find the dog. Keep along the fence. Oh! We're, we're getting split up with our group! Oh! 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 I don't know where we're going. Hazmat section. There's a dead body on a gurney there. scenarios to the maze in a way and I like the flame too but those sets were pretty cool we are about to go into what is called night maze this looks like a very bright maze which I like it already looks cool let's go check out all the ghouls and such in there look at this tree looking figure The kid said something not nice. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Yes. 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 Oh, she's got a foot and there. I graduated with flying colors. They said you're good to go. You want to hear all about my treatment? Of course you do. <laughs> so, this is what we do. Well, one arm goes here, one arm goes there. She has the best story. <laughs> All these sunflowers are skulls, I just realized that. And like I said, this scare zone is called Nightmares. With a giant bright sign. Yeah, okay. 
looks very nice. And now we have made it to the front of the park where there are three other mazes and another scare zone because we just did all the mazes in the back in like the lower lot section of the park. And now we're in the upper area. So I believe there's three mazes by the full throttle area. And look at this not creepy carousel. This demon's taking a picture with a little girl. Because the scare zone we're in, I believe, is called Demon's Door. So there's a bunch of demons everywhere and rock music. We're about to go into Red's Revenge, and then there's another maze right over here. But we're gonna hit Red's Revenge first. We're about to go into Red's Revenge. It's kind of secluded back here in the backstage area of Six Flags. So we got Vault 66 and Condemned, I believe it is. The Red Revenge, I give it a thumbs up. There's very large sets in there, which I like. I'm, I'm a sucker for large sets. We are back in Demon's Door. And look, you can see that they have like that kind of UV effect over here, like they did in Nightmares. And this is how Six Flags reach you as you walk into the stair zone with a giant demon. Actually, a demon on both sides, so you have to walk in between them and be fully immersed in a demon's door. Very massive props, I like them. Well, that was a great night here at Six Flags Fright Fest. Now, unfortunately, we didn't do the two last matches, which were Vault 666, Unlocked, and Condemned. Uh, it was just very long, even for Express, it was very long. I do recommend getting the Express Pass. Fright Fest provided us with the Express Pass. I got complimentary as well as the admission and the maze wristband. But Fright Fest was very fun nonetheless. The mazes were cool and everything. It was a different atmosphere. So big thank you to them for having us out to their event, to the media event and opening night. It was fun, like I said. If you want to keep up to date with all our social, oh, I'm very bright. If you want to keep up to date with all our social media and such, make sure to check us out at SoComicsPorn Media on Instagram and at SoComicsPorn on Twitter and subscribe if you want to see more related content to haunts and everything SoCal. Lastly, visit our website SoComicsPorn.com for more detailed theme park updates and haunt attraction news. I have been Scott and you have been watching SoCal Explorer. It's SoCal Explorer, I can't even talk, I'm so tired. Positivity is key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace.